Welcome to PhD Virtual Email Recovery. PhD Virtual has decided to partner with Lucid8 to dis deliver and exchange recovery feature. We partnered with Lucid8 because they have a very robust product with over 10 years of experience and they are a Microsoft Gold certified partner. They support a broad range of exchange all the way from 2010 even down to 5.5. They also offer an easy integration with our current PhD Virtual Backup Solution, which you can simply leverage the integration with the PhD FLR to expose the Exchange mailbox and logs. Some of the features and benefits are that we can recover virtually every type of Exchange object, from email to attachments, calendars, and contacts. We recover to a PST, MSG, or XML, or directly back into your live Exchange environment and you can mount and search across multiple backups at the same time. In the PHD Virtual Backup Console, I can go ahead and create an amount point between my backup database and my current Windows workstation. Once I've created this mount point, I can browse this backup like it's attached virtually through a Windows Explorer session. Once in the Lucidate product, I can browse my mounted production environment and view my Exchange database and all the associated mailboxes. I have an Outlook view for my inbox, calendar, and contacts. Now I need to mount my offline database, which is the database that we just mounted using the PhD product. I'm going to go through the wizard that's going to allow me to connect and mount this offline database. And because of our FL pro FLR process with PhD, I'm just going to browse Windows Explorer and I'll be able to locate my C2 database with the EDB file browsing into the mailbox and the C2 database, I have now located my C2 database where I can open my EDB file and create the mount point. I'll go ahead and open this and I'll add that. This is telling me that the backup is in a dirty state and with the Lucidate product it'll go ahead and create a clean and consistent mount point so we can browse this backup like it's in the folder structure of Outlook. As I can see, it's in the dirty state with a red warning. If I go ahead and click Next, I'll be able to get that into a clean and consistent state. That's what this process is with the progress bar. Once this process has completed, I'll be able to mount this store directly to the Lucidate product. As I can see, this is mounted to my offline database. I'm going to go ahead and browse down into this folder structure and view the same mailbox that I'm viewing in my production environment. From here, I can go ahead and select my inbox if I need to restore a, mail, a mailbox or a mail message. I can highlight this inbox and view it in the backup database offline and in my production environment. As I can see here, this email that was 11-18-2011 it exists in my production database. It also exists in my backup database. I can simply delete this from here for demonstration purposes. I'll delete the item. It's going to send me a warning. Now that this item is actually deleted, I can go ahead in my offline database and drag and drop this directly into my production inbox. This will instantly restore this mail message back to the end user in their production environment. The same goes for all of my calendar items, contacts, notes, and tasks, and anything that I would like to restore back to Outlook or Exchange. This is a simple and easy process with the Lucidate product integrating with the PhD Virtual Backup. Thank you for joining us for today's demo.